You're watching the In Vegas Style, and today I'm going to show you how to take apart a Nintendo Switch controller. And before we get started with this tutorial, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as it really, really helps me a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the video. And with that, here we go. Now, to get started, the tool set that I'm using is iFixit, okay? just like this. Now, this is not a promoted video on this. I'm just trying to show you the tools that I use in order to get this job done. I work with computers. I'm an audio video engineer. So these things are important to me. Just so you can take a quick look, I'm going to open this up. Okay. And you can see that there's a lot of different tools there that you can use to open up computers and stuff. All right. Now in the middle section, this is where we really want to get into. And the reason I tell you is because it has all these little bits that you really want for all the comp all your computer needs. We're opening up a computer or a Nintendo Switch controller. All right, and let's get right into that now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the tool I'm going to use for this, this, this bits right here is about a zero or zero zero. Okay, that you want to use. Now, the first part we're going to take off are these grips here, okay? The screws at the end, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this and talk while I'm on the camera so that you can see that I'm actually doing it and so that you can actually trust that this actually works, okay? Now, real quick, another reason I like the iFixit tool set is because you can put your screws that you're taking off on this. It's like a little tray, right? So anyways, just an extra FYI for you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the second screw. Okay, just like that. And then you literally just slide off the grips like that, okay? So this is what the switch controller looks like without the grips. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take off, there's four screws, okay? There is one right about this area, one right here, one right here, and one right there. So let me go ahead and take these off while we're on camera. If you need to move forward, you can, or you can just work with me while I'm doing this at the same time, okay? Okay, so there goes one, okay? I'm going for the second one. All right, there's two. I hope I don't drop these on the floor. <laughs> okay, then, see, there's another one right there. And, okay. Now I gotta take off, or is it, I can't see it on the camera. It's this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off that one now. Okay, give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second to tell you. Okay. So there we go. Just a little twisty twist. All right. And let me take that out. Maybe I got to turn it just a little bit more. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. Okay. There we go. We got some racers out there on the street right now, apparently. Okay, so now I could take off this back section, all right? That's what holds this back part, okay? So now you have access to the back of the battery. So what you're going to want to do is you definitely want to go ahead and take this out and pull it out. Now, for the record, do you know what this battery is actually used in? In the DS, Nintendo DS. It's interesting. It's the exact same battery. Okay. So now the battery is taken out. Let's go on to the next step. Now there's a part of this that may stump you if you're not, um, if you're not aware. Okay. So I'm going to show you now there's a screw down right there at the bottom of the controller. Okay. About that area you need to take that off first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the reason I'm showing you right now and actually showing you that I'm doing this because I want you guys to trust me. I mean, I think this video is definitely worth it. Okay, so there goes one screw. Uh, 
because it'll show you that someone's actually doing it and then it'll help you to do what you need to, right? And then save you some money, man. Let's just put it that way. I'm doing this because there was some gunk spilled on it, you know, like silver or something like that. I don't know exactly what it was. And so the buttons were a little sticky. Now, there's a couple of other areas, okay? So what you're looking at is this area right here and this one right uh, right there. So these two corners, okay? You might have to use a light, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew them, okay? So that one came out really fast. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna drop it right there. Okay, then I'm gonna go for the second one. Okay, that other corner area that I'm telling you about. Follow me if you want. All right, promise you I won't steer you the wrong way. Try to do my very best to help you out to get this done. All right, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? So, all right. Let me... See, even I'm struggling a little bit. Is it that difficult? No, not really. But you need to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. Whatever you do, just be real careful about not stripping the screw. All right. Make sure that you're using the right size. You know, if it one uh, screwdriver really actually works for all, all of these screws. Like I'm not even lying. I'm not even joking. It's the it's the real it's the real truth. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing here. Let me see. Okay. So what happened here was I had messed up because <laughs> I made a mistake and I was like, oh man, I don't want to show them that. Okay, so hold on. Before I go off with this one, there are two other screws that you want to get. You want to get this one and the one right here on this end okay if you don't do it you're not going to be able to pry open the switch controller okay so here you go come on i know you're there okay make sure you get a good grip as to not strip okay so let me go ahead and turn it Okay, let me see. Oh, it just fell down. <laughs> okay, kabow, kabow, down. Now I'm gonna go for the next one. Okay, so let me go ahead and go for that one. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed my face. Okay. All right, so let me. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you can. I just can't see. What I highly recommend, though, is as you're doing this, use like a light. Uh, it just makes things so much easier. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, feels like it's coming out, I think. Yeah, yeah, yep, there it is. Okay, I'm documenting this whole process for you so that you guys can actually see that I'm doing it, man. Because like I said, you know, the, the thing is, people can show you when it's already open and there's just no point, you know, but I think that if you can see it being done, uh, you can actually trust the person a little bit better, right? Okay, so. All right, so there's that. Now the one that's giving me a problem is the one over here. Cause I can't see what it's doing. And I think I put that in incorrectly. Okay, so, all right. 
there it is. Okay, so once you take off all those screws, then you can go ahead and separate it. So watch, let me show you. See how that opened up right up? It opened right up, right? So all you gotta do is just pull it apart. Now be careful, don't, whatever you guys do, don't hammer right through it. Okay, there is a reason why I tell you this. Okay, so hold on. Where am I stuck, man? Where am I stuck? Can't see where I'm stuck. Where is my controller stuck? Okay, that's open, that's open, that's open. And I thought... See, so look, watch, let me show you. This tape right here is the reason why I'm telling you not to like, just like pop it open because it, it will cause a problem and that's it, you're done, you're done. There's no going back, right? So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, be careful. Okay. okay. <laughs> Imagine, imagine I break the controller right while I'm doing this. That would be so funny. <laughs> what is it stuck on? I cannot see. Okay. So here's, okay, let, let, let's do this. See this clip right here? You can actually bend it forward okay because the thing is that that is where it, it detaches from okay all i did was uh, i moved the clip and that releases this right here okay so this bend okay so you pull it from the top and then you pull it and then you push it like down down okay so that's how you get that part now let me find out there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I had started on the screw. This is the one that got stuck on me. Okay. So let me put that away. All right. And now I have a controller that actually opens up. Okay. See that? Okay. Now you got to be real careful when you're handling this. You can clean around these, all right, these knobs here, all right, if you need to. The next thing is if you want to get to these buttons, okay, you can do that as well, okay? You can get to all of these. Now, there's an extra few uh, screws that you need to get to. But that is the gist of it. So let's go ahead and go on with the next part of this. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get there. We're gonna definitely get there. Now let's get to these buttons here, right? You can get to every single one of these, but you gotta be really careful so that you don't drop them. First one I'm gonna do is this one right there, okay? Right in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that, okay? And boom, there's one. Okay, then there's another one over here on this side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that one off. Okay, there it is. Drop that right there in the center. Hold on, it doesn't want to fall off, there we go. Okay, so that's two. All right, so now this is starting to get loose here, right? See that? Okay. This is the part you want to be careful on. Okay. All right. All right. Let me. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Uh huh. Okay. All right, so there's that.
All right, and I believe if I'm right, this is another clip. Let me, uh, okay, right there. Okay, so there was a clip right here. The door actually opens up. So if you have the controller like this, this actually flips up and then you can pull this little band out. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now you want to get to these buttons. So we're just about there. But you still got a few more screws to go. I'm going to start with this one on the right hand side. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew that. I'm really doing it. I'm showing you right now. It's really happening. Okay. All right. That loosens that up. I literally broke my switch for you. My, my pro controller. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't break it. Okay. There's the other one on the other end. Okay. There we go. Now, be careful. Flip this like this. Because as you can see, I just dropped one of the buttons. Okay. So you can go ahead and let it down. And look, let me kind of tilt this over. Watch, let me put this like this. I put that one down, that one down, that one down. Okay, so let me flip this this way. Ah! It's okay. If it falls down on you, it's okay. But the point here is that you can actually take these off, right? I literally took my, my Pro Switch controller apart so that you guys could see, right? So there you go. There's the buttons. Okay. Just make sure that you don't lose any of the screws or what have you. And with that, then it's just a matter of once you clean it all out, put your switch back together. Literally, that's all you got to do. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. You take care. The M Vegas style.